स्टूडेंट नेक्स्ट वी विल स्टार्ट विथ डिटर्मिनेंट मेथड ऑफ सॉल्विंग साइमेंटेनिस इक्वेशन दैट इज क्रैमर्स रूल नाउ सी फॉर दिस मेथड फॉर द इक्वेशन ए वन एक्स प्लस बी वन वाई इज इक्वल टू सी वन एंड ए टू एक्स प्लस बी टू वाई इज इक्वल टू सी टू नाउ सी स्टूडेंट when you have to solve the simultaneous equation with determinant method you have to write the equation in this general form that is constant on right hand side and both the variables on left hand side that is ax plus by is equals to c now from this equation we can write d is equals to c a1 b1 a2 b2 dx is equals to a1 b1 c dx a1 b1 c2 b2 and dy a1 c1 a2 c2 first you have to write all these three then we find we find the values of this determinant d dx d and dy and by cramer's rule we can find x is equals to dx upon d and y is equals to dy upon d see this method of obtaining solution of simultaneous equation is known as cramer's rule now remember very very important in this method x is equals to dx upon d and y is equals to dy upon d d is not equals to 0 Now let's start with the question based on this. Solve the following simultaneous equation using Cramer's rule. See the equation number two. Four x plus three y minus four is equals to zero. Six x is equals to eight minus two y. So first we can write this equation in standard form. See that is four x plus three y is equals to four. And second equation is. 6x is equals to 8 minus 5y. So this we can write 6x plus 5y is equals to 8. Now from this first you have to write determinant d. So see determinant d in this we have a1 b1. So see a1 b1 4 3 a2 b2 6 5. By cross multiplication 4 into 5 minus 6 into 3 4 into 5. 20 minus 18 is equals to 2. Now you have to write dx. Now in dx you have to take c1 b1. That is c1 is 4, b1 is 3. So 4 3 and c2 b2 8 5. 4 into 5 minus 3 into 8. That is 20 minus 24 minus 4. Now we are going to write dy. A one C one four four A two C two six eight. So four into eight minus six into four four into eight thirty two minus four into six twenty four is equals to eight. By Cramer's rule, x is equals to dx upon d. That is minus four upon two, which is equals to minus two, and y is equals to dy upon d, which is equals to eight upon two is equals to four. Therefore, x is equals to minus two and y is equals to four is the solution of given simultaneous equation. So, in this way, we can find solution by using Cramer's rule. See the next question. In that question number three, y is equals to five x minus ten upon two and four x plus five is equals to minus one. Now we have to write this equation in first standard form. So by cross multiplication, you will get two y is equals to five x minus ten. So five x will become minus five x plus two y is equals to minus ten. So first equation, second is the four x plus five is equals to minus y. So constant you have to bring at RHS. Four x plus y is equals to minus five. Now from this you can write first d. A one B one A two B two that is minus five two four one minus five into one minus five minus two into four is eight that is minus thirty. Then we can write dx. 
c1 b1 c2 b2 minus 10 2 minus 5 1. So, minus 10 into 1 minus 2 into minus 5 minus 10 plus 10 is equals to 0 and dy minus 5 into minus 5 25 minus minus 10 into 4 is 40. So, 25 plus 40 is 65. So, by Kramer's rule x is equals to dx upon d dx is 0 d is minus 13 is equals to 0 y is equals to dy upon d minus 65 upon 13 that is minus 5. So, answer x is equals to 0 and y is equals to minus 5 is the solution of given simultaneous equation. See the equations are 3x plus y is equals to 1 and 2x is equals to 11y plus 3. So, we can write the first equation as it is 3x plus y is equals to 1 and second equation we can write 2x is equals to 11y plus 3. So, 2x minus 11y is equals to 3. So, from this we can write d that is 3, 1, 2 minus 11. So, 3 into minus 11 minus 1 into 2. 3 into minus 11 minus 33 minus 2 minus 35 dx 1 1 3 minus 11 so 1 into minus 11 minus 1 into 3 minus 11 minus 3 minus 14 now see dy 3 1 2 3 3 into 3 2 into 1 so by Kramer's rule x is equals to dx upon d minus 14 upon minus 35 that is 2 upon 5 and y is equals to dy upon d 7 upon minus 35 that is 1 upon minus 5. So, x is equals to 2 upon 5 and y is equals to 1 upon minus 5 is the solution of given simultaneous equation. All the following simultaneous equation. See the equation is ax plus by is equals to 5 and bx plus ay is equals to 3 where a and b are the constant. So, see ax plus by is equals to 5 first equation bx plus ay is equals to 3 second equation. From this equation first we will write d a1 b1 a2 b2 that is a b b a by cross multiplication a square minus b square. Now, dx will be c1 b1 that is 5b c2 b2 3a 5a minus 3b and dy a5 b3 3a minus 5b. Now, we can find x by Kramer's rule dx upon d that is 5a minus 3b upon a square minus b square. See this will remain as it is we cannot solve this further y is equals to dy upon d that is 3a minus 5b upon a square minus b square. Therefore x is equals to 5a minus 3b upon a square minus b square and y is equals to 3a minus 5b upon a square minus b square is the solution of given simultaneous equations.